Uh, it was good. Uh, I got. I feel like I opened a lot of eyes, and people got to see me play. And <clears throat> at Creighton, I don't think they got to see me do a lot of things, but out there, I got to showcase a lot of my skills. Yeah, it was. It was fun. It was like great to see all those people out there. And when you got those many, many eyes on you, you get like some certain type of adrenaline, and I had that. And it was cool to just be out there playing, and then being with my teammates out there, like not my teammates, but the guys I'm training with, and being able to attack the workout and bring the intensity with those guys was pretty awesome. I've been watching a lot of playoffs. Uh, I've just been watching the center position, like the, the Rocket series, where Clint Capella's up at the rim every single time, catching lobs and stuff like that. And even on the defensive end, getting blocked shots, stuff, and how big of an influence uh, he's they they are on the game. Just playing their position, even though it's it's not much, but they're doing it and they're, they're doing a great job at it. And they're key parts of their team. So just watching this the center position and how important they are to the game. I feel like I'll, <clears throat> I'll translate perfect just because my game is just I, whether it's, I'm in, I came out at the right time like we got the centers that are stretching the floor moving the ball initiating the offense and passing and being able to cover all sides of the floor switching ball screens stuff like that <clears throat> and that's per that's how, exactly how I play like dribbling the ball and just being an initiate offense and passing and being able to step out and shoot and stretch the floor so I feel like I'm entering the game at the right time. I'll just say one thing, a major thing, would it may be for anybody coming in, just like strength and getting acclimated to the speed of the game. Um, and I, I, that'll, that'll probably come with like a, maybe playing in the D League and doing things like that. But you know, just getting acclimated to the NBA game, to the new, this new speed or whatever, is going to be it's going to be hard, but it's going to be something something to do. It's going to be fun to do. Uh, no, it's it's always been a dream, and it still hasn't even be, uh, become clear to me yet. So when I have time to stop and smell the roses, hope, hopefully I, it'll all hit me. But right now it's just been all about working hard, keeping my head down and going to work every single day and winning each day. Um, I'll just say the thought process of everything. Uh, Coach Mack, is a, he's a real like businessman and he's, he thinks about everything. And he always approaches things from an analytical aspect where you just think about everything before you do it, pros and cons, whether that be making a pass or choosing a jump shot or what are you, whatever you're doing on the floor or off the floor. So. This is the things, those are the things he instilled in me, just being having that thought process of a businessman and being analytical about everything. If there was a game here today, uh, Justin, Ver a one-on-one -on -one game, we'll have all 19,000 fans here uh, support me. So it's it's great to have people like that behind you and it's a great culture to come from. And uh, Creighton's great. If I, when I go back there, I'm gonna get the same amount of love as when I was there and they still love me even though I left. Great stuff, man. Thank you so much. Yes, Thank you. Appreciate it.